everyone, it's Chantal with another Truma Tech Tip. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to install a Truma antifreeze kit. This electric antifreeze kit can easily be installed into any of our Truma Aquagos. What this does is protect your water heater from freezing down to temperatures of negative four degrees Fahrenheit. We have an Amazon store on our website, so this can be shipped right to you, and it can be installed um, by an end user. So I'm gonna walk through all of the installation steps of how to put this in, but I wanna tell you how it works. This is going to go into your water heater in exactly the same spot that your filter cartridge goes, but it's going to connect to your circuit board, and it enables the unit to, um, to be heated with 12 volts with this electric element, and it will protect the unit from freezing when you're traveling, when your unit is in storage, or any time that you want to protect it from freezing temperatures, but you don't want to be using your um, propane. So we're gonna get started with the installation of this electric antifreeze kit. I'm gonna get a little bit of help from my buddy, Eddie, here so that we can do that. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna drop your easy drain lever, and you're gonna remove the cartridge that comes with the AquaGo, the filter cartridge that comes with. You're gonna to wanna to hang on to this because you will need the original filter cartridge for the decalcification process. So make sure that you're storing this in a place where you know where it is. You will need this later. And then you'll go ahead and insert the electric antifreeze kit into the AquaGo. You wanna make sure that you don't get this uh, cord caught or pinched. You want to make sure that it's in the opening where the hinge pivots. You close that up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert the um, pigtail adapter into the circuit board. This is going to be installed with these pins going into the 20 pin harness on pins one and 11. Now for a clearer illustration of that, you are going to want to refer to your installation manual that comes with the antifreeze kit, but this is going to go into the circuit board and then connect into the, um, the electric antifreeze kit that's already been installed. So it just slides right into those pins. It's very simple. And then there are a couple of uh, wire harness clips here at the bottom. You'll want to insert those wires into the clips so that they don't get in the way or get pinched in the door or anything as you're operating the unit. So your antifreeze kit comes with this yellow flue plug. I've already installed that on the door of the AquaGo right here. I'm just gonna pull that off. It looks like this. Then I'm gonna take this plug and I'm gonna put it into the flue fan opening. It just slides right in that opening. You can see that it's been installed. Once you close the door, you can see that that uh, flue plug is in place. You do want to make sure that that is removed when you're ready to use the water heater again. You also need to make sure before you go inside and use the CP Plus to turn on the antifreeze kit, you wanna make sure that you have water inside of the mixing vessel. This is going to be circulating water around that antifreeze kit the whole time that the antifreeze kit is running. So there must be water inside the system. So you'll wanna go back through pressurizing the system again and making sure that it's fully charged with water. You'll turn on your switch and then you'll be ready to travel to your next destination.